Hey everybody, it's Lord Magicus here. How are you all? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's April now. Um, we're here to play some more Merfolk. You know, we do that now, usually Monday night, so... Got a pretty interesting list for us to go and play. It's a very, very serious, well-thought-out competitive list, I'm sure. So we're gonna put it to the test. So, uh... If you like watching content on this channel, you should definitely give the replay of this a thumbs up on the YouTube. That would mean a lot to me. So, yeah, just just leave a thumbs up. And if you really, really want to go above and beyond, you could subscribe to the channel. And even maybe leave a nice comment. That would be great, too. So, alright, let's go. Let's take a look at this. This, this insanity I have for us today. Yeah, we are going to play... Uh, Leyline of the Guild Pact <laughs> Merfolk. <laughs> so, you know, I've heard that apparently this this uh, Sign of Draco plus Leyline thing is good in other decks, so fuck it. Let's put it in our deck. <laughs> Why not? We can have our, our turn two flying creature that's really hard to beat, and we'll back it up with a regular Merfolk plan. And since we're play since we're gonna have all the colors of here, why not play Leyline Binding too? I mean, fuck it, we're just we're going all, all the way with this one, right? Why why pay life for dismember when we can play Leyline Binding? So to enable this, we are playing uh, a full set of uh, Scalding Tarns here. So uh, we have the Savory Trium, which is the Mountain Plain Swamp, and then we also have the Ragrin one. Which gives us the uh, Island Mountain Plains and then the Zagoth Triome, which is the uh, Sultai one, Swamp Forest Island. So the Scalding Tarn can grab all three of the Triomes as well as the Breeding Pool and the Hollowed Fountain. So a lot of times, you know, we we might choose to just like if if we have a fetch land or a Triome to play that in turn one, and then turn two we can, uh, you know, hope hopefully uh, use the Triome. And then maybe like a breeding pool to uh, actually, or, yeah, to play our other stuff. So, the f yeah, we have four fetches plus all the triumphs and the shockland. So hopefully, you know, like some of these cards can be like castable reasonably. Maybe not like exactly in turn two, but maybe like, you know, by like turn three, we can have enough types in play in to be able to cast this stuff. Like it's it's theoretically possible, but really... Our plan is we want to just mulligan to this stupid Scion nonsense. And to help us do that, we're going to, instead of playing Aether Vial, we're just going to say full fuck it mode for today. Uh, what is, to, is today something special? I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, we're going to play Serum Powder, so that way we can have extra chances to just start with this. So, why not? And then we just play all of our usual suspects in the sideboard here. We got our Force and our Subtlety. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, you know, basically the same thing. It's just, you know, our, instead of, like, having, a t a, like, a normal top end to this deck, uh, we're just gonna play a bunch of nonsense. And, I don't know, maybe we'll just, like, in win some games just by doing this. So, we'll see. But that that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun, isn't it? Everybody, I know you're gonna love this. It's all the rage. All the cool kids are doing it. See, it's just... It's like that time when, you know, everybody was putting, like, Oko and Uro into all their decks. Well, now we're gonna... We're gonna do it with Leyline and Scion. <laughs> Honestly, I am... I am suspect that those are gonna still be in the format by the time that Modern Horizons 3 comes out. One way or another, so... Because I, I really don't think that Wizards of the Coast wants every deck to start with, like, uh, you know, starting with, you know, those eight cards and, and, but then just building around that, that, that's probably not great for everything. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe there's gonna be something really, really strong in, um, Modern Horizons 3 that's gonna push that stuff out, so... And you can always find all the links to all my channels and social media and everything in the link tree here that I have posted in the chat. So, why is it taking so long to find a match? Come on, I'm, I'm serious about this. We're doing this. This is happening. This is not a joke. This is, uh, this is, this is real as it gets. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. <laughs> 
go. You know it's April 1st. We always play something ridiculous on April 1st. One year, well, we, well, the one year I think we did Merfolk and MS Paint, so at least this one's actual magic cards this time. It's just like, you know, when Nikachu used to do Troll Tuesday. Well, now that's that's what today has kind of become. And to be fair, I was not the one who came up with this idea. I, I, I saw a post of it on Twitter, and I was like, okay, this is just too good. So I came up with a list around it, but we had to do this. This was, this was too much fun. All right. To be on the play. Are we just going to get to do with the thing? Uh... No, we have to mulligan this. Oh, fuck. Um, hmm. What card do we want on the bottom here? Oh, God. We're going to lose so many lords by doing this. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sure, I guess. We'll keep this. <laughs> C-Note Scout, help us find a land. Uh, yes, put it in the graveyard, please. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we can just cast Leyline Binding for one mana. This is so dumb. Now, the thing is, we're not likely to draw a lord. Oh, fuck. Uh, Preordain off of this breeding pool. All right, um... What does that mean? They put two on the bottom. I would like to pay two life, yeah. Put this hex catcher in play and then attack for three. Now if we find Scion, like now we can actually just cast it, so. I don't know what deck is playing preordain in it right now. No, that's 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 new to me. What a bant deck! Oh god, we have to be in trouble, right? Uh, sure. That's not really the one that I'm worried about. Wait. Uh, I think I am actually going to counter this. It's very possible they don't have another land, because they did scry two cards to the bottom, so clearly they didn't find whatever they were looking for. I mean, if we just find, like, Scion at any point, we'd probably just win. All right. The other cool thing is, like, if somebody tries to Leyline Binding our Leyline of the Guild Pact, we can actually just use our own Binding to get it back, so. Yeah, now we just kind of want to top deck Scion. Then, then we have we have some really fun nonsense going on. Island Cycling. Okay, see, they were probably trying to scry into a land, so this did slow them down a fair bit. Well, if they have a counter spell, I would prefer they use it on this. It kind of looks like they're representing a counter spell to me. I like how this has all the mana abilities twice on it. Yeah, I see they have it. We have to, we have to like still give them the chance to use it. Because again, if I do draw Scion, I want to be able to cast it. So I have to get it out of their hand and clear a path for it. So counter spell is this like a taking turns deck or something? Or I don't know. I, I guess I guess it could just be like blue white control, right? Or no, but they're playing green. Yeah, I guess it, it could just be like a control deck because they have Kahira. To fairy time reveler is not good. 
What the fuck are you doing? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you bounce like Leyline here? <clears throat> That's insane. Force of negation, okay. Alright, well, it can tick up, I guess. I guess they could have Supreme Verdict. Okay, well, there's Narset, so I guess that whatever they have, they don't have it yet. Uh, Lay. Oh, fuck. Alright, that's bad. Well, I guess I have to do this now and make them use it, right? Oh, they, they don't have the mana to actually Leyline Binding yet, so. Let's get rid of Teferi. Alright. I feel like Teferi probably should have bounced the ley line here. But I, I guess they they didn't feel like there was any real chance that anything bad was going to happen to it. Or I don't know. Because like... With without this, then there is no real threat to us uh, actually like casting the thing. All right, there's the verdict. We knew that was coming, but now would be a really good time to find Scion. Tide Shaper. Uh, I don't really need to worry about that too much. We can just cast it while they're tapped out. I got the one ring, but I can just counter it so. Okay, well that, yeah, the one ring is not going to resolve here, so that's good. What was the other card they found with this? Oh, Leyline Binding, right. So they haven't used that yet. Yeah, so they're not going to throw the one ring into here just yet. That's good, all right. Um... I don't, we don't actually have anything that makes us draw extra cards, so there's no point to not attacking here. Okay. They're going to make this mistake again? Like, uh, I feel like they have to take a creature here, right? Uh... So we cast this one now, like, so if they have a spell, we can use it to counter it. And I mean, we may have to throw both creatures away to the one ring, but we're just trying to stay alive long enough for Scion to be a thing. Depends on whether they found a sixth land or not. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on, we've dug th really deep through our deck. We've got to find this stupid Scion. That's why- that, that's what makes this whole thing work. Alright, um... Alright, we just pass, and they have to just not have anything. They could have another one ring, that would be bad, but... They just put Kahira in hand. That's actually really good. This, it could mean that we have to deal with Counterspell. Um, I 
That's actually a really good question. Uh, I'm going to say... Wait, hold on. I probably shouldn't have played this until we were actually ready to cast it. That was a mistake. And it's it's actually a dragon, so... Let's... I'm going to put it there because it looks like they're representing a counterspell, and I want to make sure that I'm able to resolve this thing. Yeah, so it's going to cost four less for us to cast it. So we need eight mana right now. Well, assuming that something happens to Leyline, otherwise we only need two. The problem is that we keep like drawing lands here and we need to like not have lands for a while. It looks like maybe they don't have anything though. I guess they could play Kahira, but they're not. Uh, interesting. I'll just see if we can trick them with the Cavern of Souls. They're just going to cast Solitude. Alright. Sure. I mean, we're, we're, we're just like, we're, all, we're more than halfway, like, all, almost halfway through the deck. We have not found a single Scion yet, so. Fucking 24 cards deep, and we haven't found a 4 of card. That's what we need, like, to, in order to turn this around. Well, I don't think we're realistically winning without it here, so. Where is it? Oh my god. Alright, uh, pass. Like, we ha we are so close. Like, if just one copy of this card would, like, actually do a huge, huge number for this game. But, uh, we just don't have it. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, uh... This is insane. Like, we were in such a good position to just rip it and just, like, defeat them easily. And now, all of a sudden, they're, like, being given every chance to get back in this game. So. Ah, fuck. All right. I think I think that, yeah, that does it. We're dead. We had so many opportunities there. All right. Um. So here's the thing. Like... I actually don't think that this is going to be that good against them, but I'm still going to, like, I'm still going to play it. Uh, we're going to take out that. I don't think the Leyline Bindings are that important, so we are just going to bring in these guys. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> we're not gonna like we don't need to have a whole lot of removal versus this deck and we don't need a whole lot it's just serum powder i just can't believe that we went through that many cards and couldn't find a single copy to go with like it seems like we were in, in such good position to get it so sorry we'll have we'll have glory at least once here um okay It's not the worst. Uh, let's see. No, I, I have to mulligan at least once here. Ah, uh, fuck. No. I guess we're keeping this and... Right, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna try to just hope that a turn two scion is gonna be like powerful.
I think this is the one, right? Mountain Plain Swamp. <clears throat> uh, well, that figures okay. Well, we don't we don't have the forest yet, so let's get this out before anything else happens. So I guess if we draw another land, we can play the Scion. And then, yeah, the breeding pool is the, the forest is the easiest one for us to find, so. Okay, they have a flooded strand here. Alright, well, that's good. So let's attack first. I mean, I guess if we draw another land, we can actually just play the uh, Ley Line next turn. That's possible. Subtlety! Okay, they're gonna fucking evoke this. That's fine. Um... That means they have to... They they probably don't have a good answer for it, so... Alright, All right, well... Cast the Tide Shaper, and it means if they have, like, Counterspell, then it's not going to really matter. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We just happen to have a match where, you know, game one just, like, went kind of terribly for us. It really shouldn't have, but then uh, this is also exactly the kind of deck that can defeat our stupid nonsense, so... I think you... Prismatic ending here. Um, okay. The important thing is Counterspell is still offline. Well, they know that we're drawing it, so I guess we're just hoping they don't have another Ley Line Binding. They could have another Subtlety. That'd be pretty annoying, actually. I mean, there's a lot of ways they, they could defeat this. We don't have the ley line out to protect it, so it's just a 4 4 flying creature. It probably was also correct to attack first. There's, there's like. The, I don't think these decks like play like Snapcaster Mage anymore, so that really isn't a concern. They like wouldn't have a flash blocker. Just in case they did try to counterspell it, then I, I might have missed out on one damage that way. Okay, so. I don't think with just three land types, I don't think binding is a concern yet. So it's going to cost three less. A Supreme Verdict, oh, well, it sucks. They have three cards left. Yeah, this is getting bad quickly. All right, well, I think we're sunk here. <laughs> I don't think, like, after that, like, yeah, we don't really have a lot of hopes left. Yep. They have the one ring out, like, it's basically impossible to defeat this now. I can't even play the ley line because of this. It's also possible in this deck, instead of, I should play less botanicals and more breeding pools. 
I didn't think about that during deck construction. I feel like, yeah, the game, like, have there, they have enough cards in hand where I don't think anything we're going to cast is going to actually matter. Oops, uh... The fact that they're actually considering this tells me they have to have something, right? Alright, yeah, that's fine. Like, we, we're not reasonably coming back from this, so... That sucks. So I think we had a really good chance in game one. Like we had all the time in the universe, but we did not have a scion in the top like twenty five cards of our deck. So it's frustrating, but it's okay. We're gonna come back, and we're game game or match two. I'm sure it's, it's gonna come together. We're gonna get to see it in action. Ah. It's always like that, isn't it? Whenever we're just playing like the fun deck, and I, that's when we like end up going against the match that can actually like manhandle our fun deck. <laughs> Whereas like a regular Merfolk deck with like subtleties and forces in the main deck would probably be able to defeat that pretty easily. So, sorry. Right. We'll get there. We will do the thing at least one time today. That's the goal. I think, like, if you were seriously going to play this, you probably... Yeah, the mana base could probably be adjusted a little bit more. And uh, probably the, the serum powders are a little bit overkill for what we're doing. But you know what? It's fine. Uh, well, we're definitely going to serum powder this away. Uh, we still have to mulligan this. Um, actually, this one I think we can keep, right? It's not, like... Oh, fuck. Alright, well... Leyline Binding on Vigor is gonna probably matter a lot. But we will have it available... So, Let's see what they do here. Possible, oh, well, yeah, okay, they did nothing with it. All right, uh. Oh, okay, so it targeted by default because it's the only target. You got yeah, yeah, okay. So this should slow them down a fair bit, and then from here, yeah, okay, we're actually like this. This could be much worse. So, Merfolk. Um, no, actually, we want to keep that on top. So we can actually cast it this turn. Okay, well, we can also just cast the Lord of Atlantis, too. All right. Well, this is getting out of hand quickly. They have prime time mana coming up here. Okay. Um So right now we have what is it? Two. So it's going to cost um 8 less. 
But like if I crack this and I get the yeah, uh alright. I still think we are supposed to play Lord of Atlantis right now. Island walk attack. Hopefully they just don't have Primeval Titan. That's the plan anyway. I think if they have Titan, we're just dead, right? Alright, yeah, that's good enough. Like, I, I cannot beat them just valakuting me, so... Ah, fuck! Okay. So, uh, yeah, well, I think we need all these free spells here. And I think, kinda... Binding is actually not that bad. I think Trickster is not terribly useful here. And then... All right, we'll do it like this. It's possible to bring in spreading seas, but we're going to hope not to. Uh, no, we're not keeping this in. I think we are going to keep this one, though. And get rid of force. They play Amulet, um, again, just binding it. Yeah. So, you know, Scout, keeping us from drawing another dead ley line, so. Sand can't be very good for them, right? They mulligan to six. And... Defense grid, okay. I don't think it's going to matter, though. So we have lethal in play, and if they play Dryad, they actually just die, so that Dryad's not... Okay, well, that's not going to work out for you. All right, got there. Uh, yeah, we're basically just doing the same thing again. <laughs> See? The Merfolk backup plan actually did something, and, uh, you know, we got to cast Leyline Binding, so that, for one mana, that was pretty cool. Honestly, the main deck, if you're really going to play this, should probably look something more like what we're sideboarding into. Because, like, all the free spells are actually re make the ley line a lot less bad when you top deck it, because you can at least just pitch it to it when you need to. No, yeah, we're fucking keeping this, baby. All right. Uh... All right, we're going to keep that one in hand just to pitch to force. All right. We're, we look like a fucking genius keeping this hand where we get force plus two scions here. Like, how are they going to ever beat this? Um, yeah, dragon, I guess.
Oh, yeah, that's not going to do you any good. Uh, okay, so I don't actually think that... I don't think the Tide Shaper really matters with this right now. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I just keep it for subtlety. They're on a two-turn clock here. I guess we just want, like, Leyline Binding, right? I don't know. I don't actually know if they can win from here or not. Oh, I don't know if I have the uh, command for that set up. Um, I'll show it. I'll show the list here in a second. All right. All right, opponent. What are you gonna do here? Can you get enough Valakut triggers to kill me? Is is that possible from this position? So I am attacking you for 8 in the air, and I am at 32 life, and you and all my creatures have hexproof, so... Yeah, I don't know. How do you get out of this? I mean, do you have a Radiant Fountain in your deck? That could actually do it. Maybe. Hey, what's going on, Valoroth? Yeah, we're playing... We're playing a Scion Merfolk. Yeah, uh, <laughs> alright, let's see. Oh, they do have a Radiant Fountain, okay, so they're trying to stay alive this way. I don't know how much that's gonna help them, though. No, there are Merfolk in this deck, uh, we just, yeah. <laughs> okay, so they're at 10, so I don't think I have any way to actually kill them this turn, but I mean, still feels like it's probably out of reach for them to come back from this, right? Like, it's still very vulnerable to me, just, like, having Leyline Binding. Are they, are they going to double Titan here? Okay, that could be. Alright, if they have double Titan, then that might be possible. It could, like, theoretically, like, they could have enough Valakut triggers, like, next turn. Besage you. Okay, I see. Their plan is they're going to besage you the ley line. Summoner's Pact. Arboreal Grazer. Alright. Alright, I, I guess a, a land would be really good here, right? They should do that on my upkeep. Uh, oh, fuck. Alright, uh... Okay. Um. I can't actually cast this thing right now. So what I should do is I should probably just get the island so I can cast the force of well, does it matter? I can always pitch cast force of negation. Hmm. 
It's a very interesting choice because well, I yeah, because of the cavern, I can't actually cast this next turn anyway. So I may as well just um do this. Just in case they play like defense grid, then I or I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Like I'm still attacking them for eight in the air. They have to pay for this pact here. The important thing is I didn't gain any more life, so it makes it a lot harder. Like they can attack with the Titans and get like a bajillion triggers going. They can actually use the Valakuts to, I think, kill the Scions now. I actually think I might be dead here from that. Uh, them having double Titan was like just enough, I think. Uh... Oh, they're going after my face. Okay. Interesting. Do you have enough triggers to kill me? <laughs> no, I guess the the other one's gonna get like the other. Yeah, they can they can get more triggers off of this. All right, I see. Yeah, it should be enough. Fuck, we were, like, so close in this. What, like, I don't know, we were just, like, one card away. I'm wondering if maybe I was supposed to use the Tide Shaper to kill the Urza Saga. Alright, you got it. That, I don't know, that one could have been my fault for not killing the Saga, because I feel like giving them the amulet off of that was just enough for them to be able to cast the Double Titans. Whereas if they only cast one, then there might have been a chance we could have still beaten it. I don't know. Yeah, that that was... Yeah, I'm not sure. I wouldn't have had subtlety, because I, I used subtlety to delay Titan by one turn, and it wasn't enough, because they could still cast two of them. Alright, uh, yeah, let's look at this quick. Yeah, this is what this is what we're doing right now. So we've seen that it can work. Um, and it, we, 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 so the only game we actually won against Titan, though, was without, like, any of this nonsense. It was just the regular old beatdown plan. I got a Costa Rica greetings from Mistaken. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Oh, fuck. The first round we just got, like, we got paired against the control deck and, like, come on. You know that, like, the Teferi encounter spell deck is not what we really want for this, so that's that's how it always goes. All right, we're on the play. We can do this. Come on. Uh, I don't think that I can keep this. I have to mulligan this because we, we have to at least try. Um... They have Mulligan to six. I think I'm willing to go one more. All right, I'm going to keep this, I think. It gives us our best chance of, like, top decking, so. Let's. Master an island, I think, on the bottom. Because now, if any point, if we top deck a Scion, we can just cast it, so. Alright, I mean, if you thought sees me, whatever. Fuck it. It looks like we're up against Coffers, but I mean, this would be really, really good to have Scion for this, so. Fatal Push, okay. That's probably good, because Bowmasters is really good against the Hex Catcher. And at some point, if we have time, we can crack this and get the Trium. So, if we draw, like, a land. So, it'll come in tapped, but, yeah, it gives... In case we draw a land, then, uh, it gives us our way of doing this. All right, well, we can just draw this one, too, I guess. All 
Here's the Bowmasters. All right, let's see how we're going to do this. So they deal one, and they're going to block, I take it. You have fallen in, into my trap. I knew that you had it. <laughs> Play this. <clears throat> the next turn we can crack this and get the, uh, what is it, the Mardu Triumph, so that way we're guaranteed we have the mana to cast Sion even if something happened to Leyline. You do have to be careful though because uh, Bowmasters again could actually be a problem. Crowfiend Tutor, okay, sure. All right, well, I think this is a pretty safe attack now. Uh, okay, so if they have Fatal Push, like, it's going to suck no matter what, so... We're protected from the one ring this turn. You're not protected from shield rid, so that sucks. All right, we need Scion. Come on. Where everything is set up to go for this guy. No! Damn it. Uh, I can't do anything with that, and I can't attack here. I mean, this is another deck where I think if we kind of have it in our opening hand, it's going to be incredibly powerful, but not having it in the opening hand is means that we really need, like, the subtleties and the forces to really stay here. It's like, from this position, I don't think we can actually win. Like, it, it's it's going to be way too hard. Why the fuck would you not use Cabal Coffers to, like, add the mana for this? You have Urborg in play. You could have, like, activated this for four and then had five mana to pay for it. Alright, we have, like, one more turn to draw this Scion, and if we don't draw it this turn, we're dead. No. Alright. Um, actually, I don't think I want to attack. I want to have as I want to preserve my life total as much as possible because I need Scion to get me out of this. So I'm going to be at five effectively from this, but and uh, oh, okay. Thought Seize is not going to do anything here. I'm going to then probably be at three before I can gain any life with this thing. And they have to not have damnation. Why are they not attacking me? That doesn't make sense. Oh, 
Oh, be they, no, they forced me to shuffle from that. All right, yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, I think we're dead now. Yeah, the, fi yeah, the field of ruin meant that, like, I couldn't surveil, so. Yeah, I... Okay, I don't know why it took so long for that to happen. All right, uh, serum powder can come out, and um, actually, hex catcher is not very good either. Yeah, again, we want we want the free spells for this match. I think these are fine. Uh. I think we'll do it like that. Alright. Uh, yeah, cool. Excellent fucking banger. This is why we play this. Because <laughs> they can fucking thought seize me and it is not going to matter. They're still going to die. Alright. Uh, so let's start with... I guess we start with Sanctum, right? And then we just play Tide Shaper. To prevent it, yeah, it plays around the edicts a little bit. So yeah, sure, thought sees me. Go ahead, do it. Oh my god, that's great. Uh... Yeah, if they if they have like fatal push in their hand, it's pretty useless here. So. I can attack right now, and uh, they don't. They don't have. Um, they don't have the uh, bowmaster to block. So there's that. I do have to be careful because I have. To, I have to watch out for a damnation. So it may not be wise to commit both of these, or at least I guess if no, if I do, I probably can outrace him. Uh, so it'll be five, and then nine. Uh, it'll be close. Okay, Profane Tutor. So yeah, he's definitely on the uh, Get Damnation plan. Oh, well, okay, so now we now we just have it, right? I think if they had Thought Seize, they would have used it on turn one, so... I feel like they don't have Thought Seize, and I'm not going to play around it. I think they're trying to look for the one ring. And hoping that's going to be enough. Yeah, so this gives us a two-turn clock, and we have Force back up here. Let's hope that's good. Well, okay, I guess they're gonna fucking get it now, so... Yikes. If they find the damnation, we're fucked. Or, like, yeah, I guess the one ring would also be good. We need another force or a hex catcher. Actually, a land would have been good, too, because I could have just cast subtlety. And subtlety would have been enough to win. They had to have just top decked the Thought Seize that turn, because they didn't do it in turn one, so. Like, I think it's Damnation, right? If they have the land, they get Damnation and use it. I guess the One Ring is also acceptable if they have it. It buys them time, but there's no way they don't get Damnation here. Okay. Sure. 
Which means, yeah, if we had drawn the land here, then Subtlety would have just won on the spot. Fucking A! Why? Why did we draw two ley lines in a row? That's terrible. This is like the, the worst thing we could have drawn this turn. Even Serum Powder would have actually been like good if we... But I think we sided it out. So yeah, this is like literally the worst draw two turns in a row. Damn it! All right, what are we doing here? I can't do anything about that. That thought sees off the top was just like just fucking ended our entire existence. And then yeah, following it up with like this was just terrible. That's not really much better cuz I'm still not doing anything. I mean, they do have to be careful because, like, they can only use this so much now. Like, they have to actually cast another one ring in order to not die. And they can't use it, so... The only thing that has... Shieldred could change the math on that a little bit. Okay, well, now subtlety is going to look really, really good. He just gave us the mana to cast it now. And they can't, they can't fatal push it, so... Whoops. That doesn't do any... Okay, I guess they they gain two life. Attack them. Yeah, alright. Oh, they had the Edict too? Fuck me. They just have everything. Like, they needed both of those cards. Alright, alright, fuck. Uh, I can't, I can't defeat this at this point. We're sunk. I have nothing, and they have, they're able to draw enough cards to get out of this and gain all the life back. We were, we were on the brink of victory in this, and just, again, just, just failed it miserably at the end, so. They, like, needed that to come together, like, what is it, they had to have, like, drawn the Thoughtseize, and then, like, had Shieldred and the Edict at the exact same time? Fuck. <laughs> That's insane. How is this, like, happening to us? We should be winning these games. We were, like, so close. Oh, no. Well, we're doing what we can. All right. There's two matches where we were, like, this, this close to victory, and we just couldn't quite steal it at the end. Uh, yeah, we absolutely are keeping this. Sleight of hand off of Dark Slick Shores. Are we playing against fucking Ad Nauseam? Like, is this, is this 2014? Yeah, you showed up in L's. Yeah, it's it's rough out here today. Alright, uh... This should go better. Um, I think I'm just gonna crack this for the Triome. And then this one can... Yeah, we'll keep this one for later. I guess this could be Mill, right? Thassa's Oracle? What? This has to be Ad Nauseam, right? There's no other way.
All right, well, we got a clock going. All right, so I think we're going to need to play Hexcatcher this turn just to be safe. I don't think we need that one. All right, let's get this in play so we have a little bit of protection. The one ring, um, fuck. I have three cards. Yeah, I kind of do need to counter this. So they'll have to burn a counter off the Pentad Prism, which is worth it, I think. Is that, it's, that actually does set them back by at least a turn. Okay. Uh, all right, attack. So yeah, we're attacking for 11 next turn, which is not quite enough. Jace Wielder of Mysteries, all right. Doesn't really do a whole lot right now. Uh, that's actually good. I can still cast that, so. Okay, they give up. Uh, I think we want forces here, right? That seems good. And... Trickster is probably not that important. I guess we can get rid of one of these. I think that subtlety actually might matter too, because they do play like oracles. Uh, this deck probably also plays like Pact of Negation, so I'm not sure how much these are going to help, but we got to try at least. Uh, probably Leyline Binding is not that good either. They don't play a whole lot of stuff to target with it. <laughs> I mean, this is really fun. Hey, oh, thank you for the raid. Yeah, oh my god. Um, let's see. Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't think we can keep this one. Yikes. Uh, nope, the only way out is deeper in. <laughs> Okay, I we will have to keep this, I think, and get rid of Speaker and Subtlety. That doesn't seem very good. Now, with these kind of hands, we get rid of Subtlety and Force, right? Costa Rica Raid. 
Yeah, I think like these kind of hands, we just have to rely on like aggro in order to get through. Yeah, here, this is what we are playing right now. We are just fucking jamming Scion and Leyline into a Merfolk deck. Which has worked a little bit better than you would think. But it still has some problems with it, which I feel like could be addressed um, maybe with a little bit better deck building. Like, we obviously don't need the Serum Powders in here, right? They're not, they're, they're more here so we can just try to do the thing more consistently. All right. All right. Okay, well, that card is not very useful to us right now. We only have two of it, and we drew both of them. Alright, well, we gotta start attacking. I guess the best thing we could draw is, like, a Hex Catcher. Alright. Yeah, that thing's gonna come off of Suspend. I mean, maybe we're supposed to, like, Leyline it in the upkeep, but I don't... Oh, oh no, we have to definitely Leyline that! Suddenly, this, this might be our saving grace here. So they, like, can't... I don't think they can't, like, pack the negation. Or I, I guess they're they're thinking about it, right? If they packed here, they have to win with the trigger in the stack. And I guess they're trying to figure out if they actually can. Okay. All right. Drawing that land was super important this turn. Alright, so... The important thing is, if they don't use the Lotus Bloom this turn, we can actually crack the Leyline Bind... Or we can play Leyline Binding and get rid of it. Hopefully. Okay, that's probably a good sign if that's, like, the best they can do here, right? Uh, four. Let's get rid of this. They don't have another land, so like this should hurt them a fair bit. And if we can draw like an island or something, we can play two lords, and hopefully that'll be fast enough. Right, well, looks like they don't have a whole lot to do here, so... That's not really the land I was hoping to draw. So we have to draw, like, another lord, or if they tap the City of Brass, then that will be enough, so... Attacking them for seven means they can't use this land, so... Well, actually, uh, they could if they win in response to the trigger. Okay, never mind, we just have everything. Alright, we're finally gonna get on the scoreboard with this deck. They could have, like, Darkness, right? That's possible. They play Fogs in this deck. Pact of Negation? Okay. An offer you can't refuse. Um, alright. What? Oh, okay, I see. They want the mana. Alright, uh... They're just trying to make mana and hoping that I don't kill them right now.
All right, they didn't draw what they needed to. All right, we got there. We beat Ad Nauseam. So there was one match where it was kind of hopeless, and then two matches where it came down to, like, we very, very nearly got there, and then finally we managed to win a game. Or win a match, I mean, so. I don't know, like... Honestly, like, it's not bad. Like, this package, I think... I think if I fix the mana base a little bit, like, I probably do need to get rid of the Sanctum and play, like, another Breeding Pool or maybe, like, another Hollowed Fountain. That would probably help. And, I mean, we, uh, yeah, I don't think we need the Serum Powder. I feel like this would be probably way better if we put, like, Forest of Negation in the main deck. Something like that. So. But, I mean, it definitely feels like it can do something. Like, the, this concept works, so... Uh, I'm I'm hopeful that you know it it it's possible that it could, it could work. We've seen the power of this, like it's, and it's also just really really funny. All right, we're on the play. Come on, can we do the thing? Yeah, we're gonna do the thing. All right, <laughs> keep. Fucking snap, keep. This is the best hand we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go. Whatever they do, we can just like play line binding it and then play Scion. <laughs> Troll Tuesday comes back with a vengeance. Don't thought seize me. For the love of God, do not fucking thought seize me. Just play like Ragavan, like a normal human being. Grief? Okay. Um, so it hasn't actually died yet. I think I can just do this still, right? And they only get one card. All right, well, you get my Scion, but it means you don't get to take everything from me. Okay, well, here's the cool thing. Um, my Tide Shaper is still fucking invincible, and, uh, yeah, it, Ragavan is not really a concern to me anymore, because my guy has first strike. Oh, no, I'm sorry, no, it doesn't, because I don't have Scion in play, never mind, so. Alright, well, they can't cast spells, so it means that, yeah, I'm forcing them to, to block, or, yeah, I guess if I have to block this thing so they don't get any treasures. Alright, sure. Otherwise they'll get treasure and it just kind of negates it anyway. Alright, now I need I need to draw another Scion. That's what has to happen here. Alright, they have another Ragavan. Is that it? Alright, we had a dumb scam start and they had a dumb scam start, so... All right, let's go. Okay, I need the Scion to make my creatures invincible. Like, if I draw the Scion at any point, it's basically impossible to lose, right? Actually, no, they definitely have the not dead after all. I have to just let them do this. That thing is 100% coming back otherwise. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'm not drawing Serum Powder. That's great. Okay. Fable time? Is that what we're doing? It looks like Fable. Yep. Okay. Come on, Scion! Uh, that's actually still pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm just playing Trickster this turn. Treasure token doesn't really matter a whole lot.
Let's see, what are we doing here? We're basically just trying to hold out until we can draw another one of these bad boys. Because once we find that, it's like over, right? Yeah. Dothy Voidwalker. Okay, sure. You got it. Tells me they don't have removal in hand, which is good. That's also pretty good. Um, okay. I think if they had a bolt, they would have attacked. So, right now I'm inclined to just let them do whatever they're going to do. I could have drawn one. Nope, they just gave up. Okay, they had nothing. Alright, uh, against this deck, um, yeah, we don't want to be mulliganing a whole lot. I think, I think we want subtlety, and I think spreading seas is pretty good here. Uh, Tide Shaper is not really that great. Hex Catcher is also similarly not very good. Uh, do 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 do. Anything else? Like, I guess Force is okay. All right, we'll do it like this. Uh, this is not very good. They kept seven cards. That's probably not a good sign for us. Um, this is not really any better. All right, well, we're keeping this, and so we're getting rid of a cavern and. A subtlety, I guess. It's not terrible for a five, but yeah, it's not really what we want to be doing against Scam. Like, we're incredibly weak to stuff like Thoughtseize, but what are you going to do? Or if they just grief us, like, that's so bad, too. All right. I mean, Thoughtseize is not good, but I mean, they probably just take C-Note Scout, right? That makes the most sense. I mean, it's possible they could take Spreading Seas. Look, depends on what their hand looks like. Yeah, they took Scout. Uh, that's what I would have taken. All right. Really don't want to be using this right in this earth. The thing is, like, subtlety is really good as the game goes later, but it's really miserable early in the game, so. Feel like there might be a Bowmasters in my future. Uh, but I have to cast this. I need to get this on the board. If they have Bowmaster, so be it. Like, it's not worth losing two cards. Like, I'll just take this stupid damage and they can have their token.
All right, what are we doing? Is it, I, I mean, this looks like Fable, probably. That is how they like to... F uh, Magus of the Moon. Okay, yeah, we're fucked. Uh, we're mostly fucked. All right, yeah, I'll concede. Whatever, it's fine. All right, we're just going to do that. I want to have the force back up in case we like have the the combo going on here a little bit more. So if they if they go for like thoughtsies, I can more easily deal with it. All right, let's go. Uh, this is not very good. I mean, it's actually okay, because I can still cast Leyline Binding. And get the Breeding Pool, and it gives me all five types, so I can cast both that and Speaker in turn two. Honestly, then if I draw the Scion, I can also cast it. Hmm. All right. Oh yeah, it's a four-four flying creature that they don't act. I don't. Maybe terminate something like that, but like fatal push and lightning bolt won't kill it. And it's a flying creature, so it is a pretty strong threat. It evades most of their removal, even despite that, so even without the ley line in play. They've moved the six, that's a good sign. Like, this hand doesn't really matter if they thought sees me on turn one, or even like grief scan me, because I'll, I'll still be able to just do stuff. The only thing that would suck is if they have, like, Magus or something like that, so. Okay, nothing here. That's that's actually good. No, I don't really need that here. Sure, maybe they'll, like, push this, but it's fine. They play like Void Walker and I can just bind it. No, they just push it. Alright. Or like if a Ragavan gets dashed, I can just binding. Croxa. Okay. Actually, I think I do want this underneath here. I don't really need that. It's not going to come back now. It's in a spot where I don't have to worry about it anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn off. Okay, well, it didn't matter. because we... I, I clicked the wrong button there for a second. All right. Well, that card is useless to us. So, it, uh, oh, wait. They can't do anything. Yes. All right. Well, unfortunately, neither can we. <laughs> We're both in kind of a holding position. And all right, they found a land. That's bad. Um. undo this is not gonna work right because I uh, yeah I, I can't actually cast this I'm actually just dead to this blood moon all right we lose we lost to fucking Magus of the moon and blood moon that was terrible all right 
So, uh, what I've learned here is that the mana base is a little bit vulnerable here, and probably Serum Powder is not really great. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if we adjusted this a little bit, this probably would work a little bit better. Uh, you know what? We have time. Let's fuck it. We'll do it. We'll let let's let's do let's do that. Um, all right. How do we want to change this? Let me take out this. Let's bring, like, Force into the main deck. Maybe we don't want, like, Speaker here. Uh, what, what else would we need to change? Probably need another Breeding Pool. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I probably do have to, like, fix this with Mana Traders. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta see what I want to do with this. We have time. We'll play a second League with this and see if the adjustments to this will make it a little bit better. Because I feel like I feel like we can we can do a little bit better than this, so we should try. Alright, let's I'm gonna let it take its cards back so I can like get a new list of cards from them. Let me go into my deck builder here. So, yeah, all right. So that's fine. Uh, what I do need to have here. So we, we probably, yeah, we probably want to have at least one more breeding pool and. Yeah, Sanctum is not really ideal for this, so. Subtract those. Maybe just like another another basic island then too. Yeah, we're probably going to have to play fast and lose their life total. Another fetch land, so it'll be one, two, three. Yeah, I mean, that could work. Uh, and then, what about this sideboard here? Alright, how do we, like, adjust for that? Hmm... Do you have Brazen Bar where that could like deal with some of this stuff? I don't know. We can get more. I don't know. We haven't. We didn't run into the match where we won at Cursed Totem, but it's certainly possible we could have. We could actually just look for like Sveiloon or something. You know what? That's fine. We'll just do that. Okay, let me take these cards. All right, we got this. I think we'll put we'll put a deck together and it'll be fine. Oh, I guess I didn't need to get the serum powders. I just didn't remove them from my thing, so Wait, did I? I didn't get all these cards, did I? How many did I? How many did I ask for? Oh, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, I need. Yeah, I I did not take all of them. I missed these ones. Damn it. There we go. Now we now we do this. <laughs> yeah, we're missing a few cards there. That's fine. We got this. <clears throat> we're gonna fix this deck right up. 
We'll give it one more try. <laughs> okay, we're not playing this card anymore. Uh, where are my scalding tarns at? Oh, they gave me different ones this time. Uh, oops, where are the, yeah, these two, one more that, um, I think the Flooded Strand technically is the second best one, so we add a fetch land here. That, and then what else were we going to do here? Leaves us with 58. We're missing one more land. Oh, wait. Uh, we're missing a breeding pool. Yep. There's that. Okay. There's that. And then we needed one more card. Which... What should the last card be? Uh, can put a sp do we have another spreading seas we can do? No, we only got two. Uh, it does, I don't think it really matters what the other card is. Overall, this should just be better. Um, All right, what's the most fun card that we can put in this deck? We have to put something. We have to put something fun here. Yeah. I could just put like I could just put one of these speakers back in here. That's probably okay. All right, sure. Well, let's tr let's try it like this. Right, this this should be fine. All right, let's give this another go. We're doing it. Okay. I don't know. I I have, I have faith this is going to go better. All right. We won the die roll. Uh, fuck. Uh, can't really keep this. I think this is actually fine. We can keep this pretty easily. I'll just put a Scalding Tarn in the bottom. This could be like Tron, so, I mean, if it is, it's okay. No, it is not. Oh, God. Okay. Ornithopter. Oh, God. Um, This is the food deck. Koldatha Rebirth. Um, I don't think we want to let them do that. I'm not sure if I was supposed to exile the Trickster or the Hexcatcher. I know this is an Urza Saga deck usually, so they have constructs and this might be more relevant. I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know if it matters. Like, it, it could matter. Are they playing like the, what is it, the Boros Convoke deck? Is that what's, is that what's happening here? Seems like it.
It's not terribly helpful to me right now. Uh, I don't know if Lord is actually what I want here. I think I really would like to draw Scion because I can actually cast it and the flying I think is going to matter. Um, we're going to kill one of my creatures. I don't feel very good about this match. This seems like we really, really need to have our really stupid, powerful start in order to beat this. This is a little bit, like, clunky, I think. I just played a bushwhacker for nothing. Alright, this is bad. We're not going to get too many more chances to attack them. This thing is going to get out of control very fast. I can actually cast this binding, so that might help. They may be inclined to tap their stuff in order to pump this up to attack with Vigilance, so if they go this route, I could actually be okay. I don't like how where this is going. I guess technically if we draw another Leyline Binding or a Trickster, we win, so. It wasn't what we needed here. We had a chance. Like, we could have, like, stole this game right here, right now, but we just didn't. Our Scion also would have been very good. Uh, yeah, but that wasn't, that wasn't it. Scion would have, like, very much threatened to do this. Oh, I should not have let them cast that. There was no reason for that. I definitely should have forced it. I just, like, misclicked. And I don't have a good way to get through all these things now. Um... 
I feel like I should actually be cycling that this turn. Oh, they're going to cast another one of these guys. That's that's also really bad. All right. I think it is it is now possible for me to get like spreading seas plus island into lord and I could win that way, but it's all it is unlikely. No, I don't have C's in the main deck, right? They're in the sideboard, so that's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, no. Then I, I don't have, I don't have any lines. There's nothing. That's not gonna do it. Uh, no, we, we're not beating this. Fuck. We, we had, a, we had a chance. There was like a turn where it was possible, but not, not like that. Um. Uh, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do about the Convoke deck, to be honest. This, this deck seems very difficult for us to beat. I'm assuming that, like, regular Merfolk stuff is probably the way to go, but... I don't think Force is very good in general against it. Mm, no, we, I don't think that's going to get there. Uh, this is fine. We're going to keep this. We will get rid of a C-Note Scout. I could attack, but they could also just double block and kill it, so I would rather keep it as a blocker for these guys. Alright, we win. <laughs> See, that was easy. Alright, um... Hmm. That kind of makes me want to consider bringing Force back in. But it is so, like, dependent upon, like, us, you know, being able to, uh, I don't know, like, that, it's, it's so rough. You know what? I'm gonna trust that, I'm gonna trust that Force is gonna get us there. So we're on the draw. I don't know if, I don't know how long the game is gonna drag out like this, because they can be pretty fast, and I'm not looking to play Fair Magic right now. They've mulliganed. I'm going to mulligan. Uh, yeah, this is perfect. We're going to win. <laughs> this is exactly what we want to see. All right. Um, keep. This is the what the deck is all about, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. They, they used wear and tear. That's not cool. Now I'm going to have to play for real. All right. Well, that's why we kept C Note Scout. Uh, no. 
All right, if they want to, they could trade their entire card with one C-Note Scout, and if they do that, I'm okay with this. I don't think they will. This is where we really want to draw, like, a Triome. I'll probably just pump this guy up if I had to take a guess. Yeah. That's kind of fine, because I can always have Trickster or, like, potentially binding this. Uh, okay, well. I'll just flash in Trickster at the end of their turn. Start trying to win that way. Okay. It needs three counters, right? Okay. How much do you want to gamble on this? He's really debating whether he should, like, uh, add another counter to this or keep it back. Oh, baby, we're going. All right. He's gambling. All right, I like it. This is where the fair plan, like, comes into play here. Now we're attacking for a lot. Uh, oh, fuck. All right. So that gives us three. Yeah, we can actually cast this Ley Line Binding now. So what I can do is cast a Trickster on their turn and then Ley Line Binding on my turn. So enforce some really bad blocks. Make them make some really poor choices here. Sure. Okay. Sacrifice an artifact. Okay, sure. You have three goblin tokens. What are you doing? Like, this. there's no way that this is going to work out, right? Like, it can't. Um, I'm, I'm just going to let it hit me for six. I don't really care. Uh, I want you to get rid of the tokens. I can kill more of them if they try to double block. And you have to you have to block at least two things, right? Or you have to block all you have to block three. You can't double block anything here. Okay. I mean, I should be winning here. They only have one card and like not enough to like threaten me here, I think. They're still in a situation where like I'm attacking and they have to block everything. Oh, fuck me. That, they just had that. Like, that, damn it. That's exactly it. Alright, they got ten. Yeah. That's... <laughs> I, I couldn't beat the Bushwhacker. That's unfortunate. We were so close with that. Alright, well, I mean, that was a game. Like, we, we had, a, like, a really, really close game versus it. I think we... I don't know, like... If I trickster... I don't, I don't know if I... Like, the, pro the problem is, like, I... 
If I put the ley line in play in their turn, I could save myself some life points, but then I, I don't have the trickster in play to try to attack them to force them to, like, block the way that I need them to. Uh, yeah, so I was taking a little bit of a, a risk there by that, so they had exactly 10. That's so unfortunate. Oh, that, that came out to be really close. And they had to start with the wear and tear because we were going to have the Scion out too, so... Yeah, no, they, they needed a lot of things to go right that kind of did. I, don't know, I I think in general that match is probably not terribly good for Merfolk, so... The fact that we got like as close as we did I think is itself not bad. Uh, this, this is a great hand. We're going to definitely keep this. We have Mulligan to five. All right. Well, um, I guess I'm gonna keep that one in hand just in case I draw like force, so I have something to pitch to it. Okay. Sure. Yeah, see, look, I'm a I am a fucking genius. <laughs> look at how smart I am. I am so good at this game. <laughs> Alright, I need to fetch here before uh they they get rid of my triome. Uh so in this case. I should probably get the green one, right? Just to be safe. Alright. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna play the cavern on dragon because what are they gonna do? They ain't gonna do shit. Fortunately, we still have an island to get. Sure. They only have two cards left. Like, they have two cards left. We have forest and, like, a huge clock that they're not going to be able to deal with. So, I, it seems very... Okay, so, what, three cards? Yeah, it seems, like, unlikely that they're going to win. Their removal is useless. Like, the only thing they could have is, like, Damnation, but I don't know how if they play any main deck or if they do how many they have. You know, blocking is not really an option here. Like, they could block the Lord of Atlantis and then this thing dies, so that's fine. This is also a very interesting deck because while or while normally uh, something like um, okay well they milled two scions now I was gonna say normally something like Tasha's would be really good against Merfolk 
uh, against us. Uh, yeah, with Scion in our deck, Tasha's is actually a lot worse. I don't want to lose 14 cards. That's half of my deck right now. Oops. Uh... All right, they're at four. I mean, I've done all I can here, so they either have to, they have to wipe my board or kill my deck right now. I don't, all right, well, that means they are probably not going to damnation me, so. Can they get rid of 31 cards here? It seems unlikely. No, they cannot. Okay, good, excellent. Uh, so against this deck, probably, like, most of this is fine. Um, yeah, I don't really need to change a whole lot for what they're doing. I think I just run this back. I think we against this deck we can also afford to mulligan a little bit more. Ooh, fuck. Uh, well, we're not keeping this, so. All right. Well, I think I have to keep a hand, and I guess this is gonna be it. There is some argument that I might want this in my opening hand. I can't cast any of my stuff, so if I want to curve out, I'm gonna need to do it like this. So, this is what I'm looking at. Alright. Do, 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 do. There goes a force. That's unfortunate. I really want that. Yeah, this this sort of hand doesn't really get the option of playing around them potentially having damnation. I just kind of have to hope they don't. Because so I have to play like Speaker and Master, and then hopefully that's fine. Okay, if I'm four cards is okay. They got rid of a uh, what Island Binding Leyline and Scion. Sure. Okay, glimpse. Two forces in here? Yeah. Alright, so this puts lethal in play. Either you kill off my creatures or you die. Alright, let's, let's see what you got. If I didn't play the speaker, they could just not fetch there. Alright, let's see. Do you have the damnation... 
looks very much like they might. Uh, Crypt Incursion. Okay, that's actually pretty good. They're at 51. Fuck, all right. That buys them a fair bit of time. Now I need, like, another Lord. It's not Damnation, but it's pretty close. So, I don't know that I can weather this many turns, but we'll try. I want to turn off the crab before they play their land for turn. Which, if they want to waste their turn field using field of ruin, that's fine. Uh, I'm actually not going to get the island. I would prefer to keep it in my deck right now, because I'm going to need it. It looks like we're on three turns. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it three turns unless we, like, top deck a force. Of course. That makes sense. They're at 21, so let's say that they can't mill out my entire deck. If they play a land, I'm at 8, 7, 6, which, yeah, all right. I could draw, all right, well, actually, I should check my great my exiled pile here. How many one drops do I have left that I can cast here? Scout, scout, scout. So, So all the scouts are out. Uh, there could be a Kamena speaker. One tide shaper, two tide shapers. Three. Uh, two, three. There should be one ley line binding left. Alright. So right now I'm not attacking. Well, let's see if I if if there's a lord left, is it can I actually kill them? So it'd be five. It'd be let's see, eight plus nine. Seventeen, five. If I have if I draw a lord, I could actually kill them. I just have to not get my deck milled out. Hmm. A lot of things have to go right. Yeah, Flooded Strand is going to hurt here because that's going to be another three cards. I need them to have, like, just a bunch of lands in hand. All right, that's going to do it. All right. Uh, okay. I'm just going to try again. I think this hand might actually race them, so I'm going to keep it. It's theoretically possible that this could work. So 
this tide shaper into like lords. My life total is totally irrelevant here, so. So what I would want to do here is probably yeah, like Scion is okay. They will definitely play an island for me. They don't really have a choice. Alright. They don't need Glimpse. Looks like probably removal here, but I can't do anything about it, so. Oh, that's nothing. I'm not concerned about that at all. Uh, I probably should fetch, though, before they do that, just because I want to get the land that lets me play Scion, potentially. So they are technically dead on board right now, so they have to do something. Um, okay. They should actually crack this in response. Mountain Plain Swamp, that's the one that I want. Yeah. Okay, sure. You can mill, do whatever you're going to do. Okay, whatever. It's like, you're going to die, so I don't see how this... Can you mill 17 more cards right now? Double Archive Trap is not quite enough. Uh, that's pretty good. That actually does protect me a fair bit. So they don't have any fetch lands. I ha as long as I have one Merfolk left in play at the end of all this, then Master will win. So I just have to keep them from killing me. They have two cards left, so I'm not sure what it is. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what they could have that would mill ten cards here with just two in hand. It doesn't seem like it's going to happen, though. Sure, that's not going to do it. This is just like a regular old merfolk match against Mill. 
which is one of our best matchups. Hexcatcher was a very, very good draw there. It turned off basically any option they had. Yeah, and I don't think there's anything they can do here. Like, even another Archive Trap wouldn't do the trick, so... Alright. We're on the board! We're getting there! <laughs> We're playing our nonsense deck. This is fun. I think this this version of this deck list is a little bit better. <laughs> the first match was it was close. We had a chance, but we didn't quite get it. I don't know, chat, are you entered? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Let's just look at this again. Uh, here we go. This is it. Like, you just stuff these 12 cards into, like, any deck now at this point. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's it's real dumb. Just play a bunch of fetch lands, some triomes, and, like, these 12 cards. And you can, like, literally put this in pretty much any deck. It'll be fine. So... <laughs> why the hell not <laughs> especially if you can play like elementals or or like forces or something it'll make having the ley lines in hand a little bit less miserable we've already seen once where it made me look like a genius uh i don't think that this is uh let's think about this so i could have I don't know. Uh, it's close. They've mulliganed to six. Don't know what we're up against. I could play like the... Fuck. I, have, I don't think I can keep it. Two tap lands is too much. Um, I actually am a little bit more willing to keep this because I have, I have stuff I can do. I'm going to say that I don't need the hex catcher as much. I have Force and I have Leyline to help me against whatever we're up against. And it looks like we're up against Amulet. I want to keep the Tide Shaper just in case they play like Urza Saga, because then we can draw the land and kill the Saga. I really need to do that. We're going to need some help with this, so... Their hand doesn't seem very good, but, like, ours isn't quite there either. All right. I know every time that I do this, I'm just going to get ridiculously punished, but I have to, right? I have to, like, actually... Like, I can't not play anything on turn two. I need the land really, really badly here. Uh, yeah, you have a Dryad. I can't do anything about it. Alright, if I can find another land, I can get this Scion in play, and then maybe there's hope. I can, you know, Valakut won't wreck my entire existence. They're at five right now. What the fuck is this? Uh, it's not really what I was hoping for. It gets me closer to that land. But if they have prime time, I'm sunk. Uh, yeah, I want that in my fucking graveyard. Are you kidding me? All right. We're so close with this hand, but, like, we're just... Yeah, we need that extra land so bad, and we're just not finding it. 
Oh, that's bad. That means prime time is coming. So I think that means we basically just lose, right? I think from here they get Growth Chamber plus... Um, actually, they might get Urza Saga, right? So they can work on Amulet. Or they could just get Teleri West in that and use that to transmute for a Pact. A Beseju? Oh, that's Beseju is pretty good. We have one turn. Alright, get this Scion out now. I don't think it I think it's a little bit too late though. This the Titan's already a thing, so what am I yeah, I can't do anything about it. That is another Titan, isn't it? has to, what 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 the fuck are we casting for this much mana oh fuck that <laughs> um what am i exiling here I guess the hex catcher is not doing anything. But yeah, no, we are absolutely not doing this. It gives me another turn to draw leyline binding to get rid of this thing, I guess. The thing is that if the Titan attacks, like I can actually just block and kill it, so I don't think it can attack here. Unless they were trying to throw it away. Which is reasonable all right they did get Urza saga this time I'm not sure what this is for Oh, yeah, they have the besage you. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can get my breeding pool then, and then ley line binding still online. All right, it's not great, but we're still in this somehow. All right, he doesn't have an island, but let's see if he knows that. All right, good job. Now this this game is lost, but we'll, we'll try. I don't know how we could possibly like come back here, but we're gonna give it our best. We were like a turn or two too slow. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, pick your poison should actually be really good for this. And, uh, subtlety should be good here. Uh, trickster is not terribly useful. Leyline binding is okay. 
I don't know if we need all of them. We still have to cut a bunch of cards, like, oh, fuck. Oh, I don't need the Cursed Totem, that's not necessary. Uh, Alright, I guess we're just trying it like this and hoping for the best. Mm, not like that. Uh, this is not the worst. I mean, I guess we keep this. Uh, Scion goes on the bottom. Actually, no. Uh, we can theoretically cast this in turn two. So maybe Hexcatcher goes in the bottom. Getting sore sitting here so long. Alright. 4-4 four, four flying is not, like, that bad against this deck. They play like Amulet, we can just get rid of it. Okay, yeah, Grazer is fine. A little bit late. I guess if they play um, uh, Dryad here, pick your poison, can kill it. Okay, what exactly does this do? They just get lands here. A creature card and a land card from among them. The rest go on the bottom. Okay. So they only had they only had the sanctuary, right? But we are and why doesn't it say they chose the sanctuary? Did they not take it? Or does it, the log just not tell me that they did? Interesting. Alright, I'll just play Hexcatcher if they don't do anything. Otherwise, I have Leyline binding up, so... If they, like, try to do this again, Hex Catch will probably be helpful. Doesn't seem like they have a whole lot going on here. Uh, I think this one. Hmm. Which means I'm guessing Primeval Titan is coming next turn. I could try to slow it down. 
just get rid of Grazer so I can attack for six and then Shaper his lands and hope that that's enough. He only has four mana right now, and he doesn't have an amulet, so anything he does, like, I don't think he can play a land this turn that's going to give him the six that he needs for Titan. And just playing like a Dryad's not enough. Yeah, all right, good. We're on the draw for this. I think we need the force in the draw a little bit more. I do not want him having turn one amulet. That would be terrible. All right. Well, this is exactly the kind of hand that we want for this. So he kept seven cards. We're keeping seven cards. Okay. Hey, why are my, oh, fuck me. That's bad. All right, so they need to have a green source now in order to do this, right? So do you have do you have forest? Did you keep forest in your hand? They did not keep forest. Excellent. Okay, so you're telling me there's a chance. All right. Gets amulet here, right? I can't, I couldn't stop him from getting amulet, but at least I got my scion out here, so he can throw away the the might to get rid of this. But I'm not. I don't know, like how much that's gonna help him though. Like we're still not doing very badly, even if that's the case. So. Azusa, um, doesn't this just fucking ruin his entire career if I just subtlety this? Uh, I guess get rid of Lord of Atlantis. Okay, so I assume the best thing to do here is Hex Catcher because that turns off the most things. Copied the hollowed fountain. What? How? Okay. I guess he just needed an untapped source. All right. I don't understand what's happening here. Are, are you just dying? Is that what's happening? Are you just dead? It feels like it. It feels like we're really close to dying here. Uh, Okay.
gave me island walk for some apparent reason. Oh, they have the besage you. No, okay, no, they, uh, they're just using the might here. All right. All right, sure. You can't block anyway, right? All right, I guess I, if I need you to, like, have summoners packed. So that that's my hope here. We have Titan, I'm kind of sunk. It's going to be very hard if you have Titan. Because that means you probably get multiple Titans here. Like, I'm, I might actually just be dead to this. Like, if I had a subtlety instead of another force here, then that probably would have been enough, but this seems like there it's probably not enough. Something would have to go very wrong for him here. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I don't think Tide Shaper would be enough. No. Not quite. Ten gets him just out of range. I really kind of need, like, some way to get rid of this Titan. Like, Leyline Binding would be very helpful. Which means I should fetch on his turn. Oh, that's bad. He gives a double strike. That's going to hurt. Uh, no, I'm not going to block it. Kind of surprised he didn't give it double strike. Oh, he didn't have quite... Er, no, you had enough mana to do this, didn't you? Two, and this, and this. You could have done it. Okay, um... So I have... What do I need here? Any of these should be fine... The Raugrin gets me just mountain. This gets me mountain plus swamp. I guess that's fine. That doesn't actually help me, but I still have force up at least. Okay, so something's probably gonna have. Uh, I think. I don't think it could. Things could get a little fucky with this. I definitely have to play this, right? Go to 17. Eight, yeah, so it's 16 is. Alright. So let's see, I, four gets through in the air, so that's six, which means he has to block two things. Like a Titan could block here, but he still has to throw the Azusa away, and I think that making him lose Azusa is probably worth it.
Sure, I don't think that does anything, but... Oh, it, it takes slightly less damage. Alright, that's fine, I guess. You leave your computer for a few hours, you come back to a rate of fish... Yeah, I'm jam. of course I'm jamming it for science. I feel like this deck has been really close in a lot of matches, but like they just haven't quite gone the way that we wanted. Oh, fuck, I think we're dead. I, yeah, I need I needed to have Leyline here, and I do not, so the Valakut's just going to kill me. Alright, yeah, like, I, I can't, I cannot beat him just ripping Dryad off of the top. That was too much. See, this is what I mean, like, we are, like, so ridiculously close to winning this game, and then out of nowhere, he just, like, pulls out Dryad, and it's like, okay, what am I supposed to do about this? <laughs> I think I'm just straight dead to this thing. You can just get, like, Valakut again and just, yeah, it should have me dead. Yeah, that's it. That's what I, oh, fuck. Like, again, if you just had, like, Pact, like, up, then, you know, I could at least counter it with the Force, but... We've just been getting to, like, these ridiculous, like, board states where it's like, we're this close, and... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like... It's not bad. Like, we've definitely gotten free games out of having it. I don't know. I don't know that it's better than just playing, like, an actual Merfolk deck, though. But it's fun. I will tell you that. It is It is really fun. So, there is something to be said for that. I do think, however, maybe more decks should be experimenting with this concept of just jamming Scion into literally whatever they're doing. Because it doesn't seem like the cost is that high. And it's not that bad, especially if the more like free spells if you're that you have in your deck that you can pitch the ley line to, probably the better it's gonna be. So, yeah, so this is this is what we're we're rolling with right now. So like we have like these twelve cards here, but I mean everything else like you know we've won fair games with the rest of the decks. Alright, uh, I mean, yeah, we're gonna absolutely keep this. I'm just hoping that we don't get griefed. Oh, fuck! <laughs> the Spider-Man point meme! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright. Oh, that's really, really bad. Our wild McCadle is not as impressive as that one. Alright, um... Oops. Uh... Ours is only a 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Why? All right, opponent. <laughs> Let's see how dumb this is gonna get. Uh, okay, no turn two scion here. Lightning bolt. I mean, okay, that's fine. I don't really care about that. I care about like leyline binding right now. That's pretty much it. This is, this is, like, one of the dumbest games of Magic I've ever played. <laughs> so if he has Leyline Binding, I can either force it, or I can use my own Leyline on it. Or, I can wait until he plays his Scion, attack into it, and then Binding his thing. Okay, um... 
No. See, I like this line a little bit better. Because now, like, if he plays Scion, I can just attack him and then it doesn't really matter. Like, he can't attack me here, so... I guess drawing a land wouldn't have been bad. Uh... I think we're just casting this right now before we lose the opportunity to. It is possible for us to cast this binding at some point in the future if we really need to. <clears throat> it's going to be a lot less possible to get this other scion in play. Like, yeah, okay, sure. If you if you get rid of this, like it doesn't really do anything because I'm still attacking you for a lot more than you're attacking me for. Um, let's cast this first and see what we get. Because if we get a certain land, then it might change what we fetch for. Uh, island? Okay. So we can cast this, I think, next turn. But they are actually just dying as of right now, so... Yeah, Hollowed Fountain wouldn't work just yet. I need to get the, uh, one of the Triomes here. Uh, that's, that's not gonna do shit. You are actually still just dead to my Scion, so... Yeah, of course I win! I have two Scions out! <laughs> Fuck. Alright, uh... Subtlety? I don't think that force is actually that great. I think the subtlety is a little bit better. Uh, we definitely want the pick your poisons, though. They're going to be much, much stronger. And um, the hex catcher is not super useful. Speaker is only okay. It's not amazing. This might actually be one of the matches where we want Svaloon. Uh, bring in, just bring in two of them. I think that's okay. All right, we've both like just tried to do the funny thing, and uh, I did it a way better than they did. So this is a really interesting dynamic now because now it's like who's gonna mulligan for it more? They've mulliganed to six. I think we have to as well. Like, we can't not. Ah, fuck. Um, this is actually, like, really close. I think I am supposed to do this. Because I, I can still cast the Ley Line Binding in turn two. Hmm. I need the Triome and then... Yeah. I can get... Yeah, I need to get probably Raugrin. So that'll get me my... Uh... Okay, they didn't have Leyline, so that's a plus. Yeah, I can play this next turn, and then I have Binding up just in case. If they, like, play a Scion or something. Honestly, if they play, like, almost any creature. I, you have to be careful with these Bindings, though, because they are very vulnerable to, like, opposing Bindings in this match. So, there is that to be concerned about. Looks like they might be doing the thing. 
Oh, that's just a Kavu. Okay, um, sure, that's fine. I'd still probably have to get rid of that, though. Let me get Raugrin, because that, yeah, that's, that'll give us the mountain and plains that we need. That's too much damage to be getting hit for too early, and I mean, we do have Tricksters later in case something, yeah, in case it happens. Uh, next turn, I can actually play Scion plus the C-Note Scout, and then follow it up with uh, Master. If I draw another land, I might be able to play two Lords to follow it up with. Alright, you get your thing back, sure. It's, it's gonna look real bad, though, when I play Scion. Alright, so this is going to work out. The next turn I just play two lords here. Sure, okay, you can bolt it, that's fine. Uh, do I want it in my graveyard? No, I do not. All right, what are we doing with this? <clears throat> Steam vents. What the hell does that mean? I don't think Steam vents is actually helping you all that much. These things have hexproof, thank you. No, I want to play it just to be sure. Then I can like basically just trade off this master for one of the, or actually no, I would I would end up trading off a scion for one of these things. I don't know. If he attacks with both of them, like I could I don't know, like it's dangerous. Like if he has tribal flames, I could be dead. But I mean it is it is certainly like a consideration to just not block and then just attack and try to kill him. Okay, well, there's a Scion. All right. Now they have First Strike and Trample. All right. Uh... So I guess I'm not blocking. I'm hoping to draw either a Leyline or a Binding or a Merfolk Trickster. I think either of those wins. I don't think anything less than that is going to win, though. They discarded the lightning bolt, realizing it doesn't change the math. The math ain't mathin'. Alright, now I just go to four. Okay. Alright, what do we got, deck? Ooh, uh, it's not gonna be enough, I don't think. No. 
That only puts them to one, sadly. Uh... What are my... I don't think my blocks are actually all, all that good either. You have, like, fucking stern scolding. Alright, um, so, yeah, they're gonna attack with- I have to block both of the- I have to block everything, so... These signs are gonna have to trade off, and then I have to deal with these. They have trample. I can afford to take one damage from each trample, and they go to two. So, block- so, basically, I could attack with this master, put them to five. Uh, these will trade off. I would actually still theoretically kill them next turn, so... I do have to attack and then just hope that they don't have a bolt, that they just got rid of it. I think if they have Lightning Bolt, I'm dead. But they just discarded one, and they've already cast one, so... Let's see. My best... If I Okay, we win the match. I think they didn't have the removal spell they needed, right? Because a Scion can block here, and then I would probably just put a Lord here and a Scion here, so I have uh, six Island Walk damage to kill them. So, they didn't have Bolt, so we win. Alright, we're two and two! This it's already more successful than last time. Let's let's see if we can if we can make three two. Three two for a meme deck is always a is like a five zero. That's how that works. You're just gonna have to take my word on that. That that's how the math shakes out. That was such a ridiculous match though. <laughs> We're both just starting with ley lines and the Merfolk deck ley lines harder than the domain deck. <laughs> you can't write this stuff. This is this is the modern that we wanted. I really do hope that more people just start experimenting by just shoving this fucking combo into every deck that they can. I want to see burn with like ley line and sign of Draco in it. Just like when they used to play Oko and Uro, like, because apparently that's what it takes before people are like, okay, this is just too dumb. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, we're on the play. Alright, wait, where'd my mouse go? There we go. What do we got? Ugh, uh, this is not very good. Uh, actually, you know what? It could be worse. Like, we get to play the Scion. I don't know. I think I think on a 7 we mulligan just because it can be better. This is a little bit better, but not by, like, a whole lot. Not very impressed with this. I guess I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to put Scion on the bottom. We're just going to play, like, a regular game. The Leyline Binding is much more castable. If we ever find, like, a fetch land for a Hollowed Fountain, we can actually cast it. Oh, shit. Okay. We're up against Tron. Yee. All right. Well, we're definitely playing this Hex Catcher because there's a very strong chance they might cast Sylvan Scrying. And if they do, I need to fucking counter that. Uh, or Ancient Stirrings is also an acceptable card to counter here. Because if they don't have another land, then um, that would be very good for us. If we just countered this.
I mean, realistically, that might be the only way we're winning is if they just don't have another land. All right, well, they have a forest, so they don't have another Tron. Oh, fuck. They're double Ancient Stirring and the forest, damn it. All right, well, they're not getting Tron next turn, but this is still a setback of epic proportion, so... I needed them not to have the second Ancient Stir. And they have the Expedition map. Oh, this is this is really, really fucked. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, the good news is that we have the Flooded Strand here. Alright. Um, so I can get the Trium going. The Leyline Binding is theoretically castable. If they if they don't have the third land, then this might be fine. If they just cast the the map and they're not able to use it right away. Oh fuck! All right, well we're fucked. We are so fucked. There's there's no way we're we're sunk. Honestly, like I don't even they haven't I don't think they have actually seen what we're up to yet. Like they haven't seen anything weird. So, um, yeah, I'm just not going to bother. Like, we're not going to come back from that. Like, their, their start was way too strong, and ours was not strong enough. So, I'm not going to tell them what's up with this just yet. Let's let it be a surprise. Mm. All right, Murpho Trickster, I don't like you. Uh, fuck you. Uh, I'll, I don't want this pick your poison, and Leyline Binding is not really that good either. Okay. We keep our secrets and hope that we get them in game two. Like, we have plenty of, like, tools for this, so... The only thing that does kind of suck, though, is, like, Tron does play, I think, copies of, like, Naturalize and, or Mandor Haywire might, maybe. Stuff like that, where they act, they do have interaction to blow up, like, artifacts and enchantments, so. Like, our, our Scion is not, like, immensely powerful against them. Now, one thing that is nice about it is it has flying, so it can go past Worm Coil Engine, and it's colorless, so Ugin can't kill it. And, it, hey, yeah, and, and it, it can't bolt it, and it can't exile it. Um, so th there's a little bit going for it in that regard. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I wonder if I should have the speaker over one of the bindings. Probably, actually. Probably need to have a lower curve for this. This card's not actually all that great. Uh, this is going to be too slow in the draw. Actually, this is a little bit better. I'll just throw away a subtlety, but otherwise, like, I'm probably I'm fine. Yeah, you have that. Uh, Ralgrin, I think, is the one we want here. Well, the good news is that if we do find the Scion, we should be able to cast it now. Uh, 
Oh, they started on double mine. Ooh, that's rough. Actually, no, but that's that kind of works out for them now because they like very easily could just have a third Tron piece in their hand, so. They got forest? That's gotta be good for us, right? Huh. Well, we're not in any danger. Uh, like, I guess the only bad thing that could happen this turn is, like, Oblivion Stone. But I guess if they're playing, if they're getting Forest, then it's probably because they're going to play, like, Sylvan Scrying or something. So then I'll probably have to play the Spreading Seas next turn and eat this thing. I'm going to keep them off of Tron for long enough. There's Tower. Well, that is an Oblivion Stone. Um, let's see. This turn, this will mean I attack for seven. Like, this still technically does kill them next turn. And if they play, like, if they play Karn, that wouldn't actually matter. So they don't have Tron. Like, there's no way they could do that. The only thing that would suck is if they played the One Ring. I don't have an answer to that. So we know they have a forest in hand and hoping that they don't have the one ring because that yeah, one ring is the card I can't be to be any if they play like Karn or anything else we win right they, they I think they need to have exactly one ring right now in order to like win this game okay they don't have it all right excellent we're we're fucking we're ready to go here we got we're in it to win it boys <laughs> Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Just one time. Can we, like, fucking scion them out of this universe? Uh, let's see. We're going to be on the draw here, so what is? It? how do we want to do this? We need to keep, like, the forces, right? That's the way that we're going to do this. So. I don't think Leyline Binding is going to be particularly impressive. Actually, no, it, it could be because if they are starting with, like, map, then binding on the map is something that we could reasonably do. Hmm. Alright. Alright, we just have to, we'd have to put our faith into, into the meme. Alright, this is what's happening. It's so close. I only have one land. They're keeping seven cards. Fuck me. Alright, I can't. This is not gonna work in net. Not like this! Oh god. All right, we're going to lose this one. These hands were, like, just not great. We had, like, one land into, like, zero lands into this. Like, I have to force this, right? There's no other way I win this game. This, this is just going to be really bad. Urza Saga? Oh, fuck. That's, that's going to be duh, tough. Alright. I mean, Tide Shaper or Spreading Seas right now would be very much appreciated. Tide Shaper actually would be better because it puts stuff on the board. Uh, I would love to pay two life. 
And I need to keep up this hex catcher right now just in case I or in case they uh need to try to cast like Sylvan Scrying, I guess. Oh, that's so bad. That is so that is really bad. This is not gonna do very much. They're so close to Tron. They can make their 2-2 right now. I can't even attack them. Sure. Yeah, I know how this works. That uh, That's probably a mistake. You don't know if I have Trickster or not, so... Subtlety on top? I don't know if Subtlety is actually going to help right now. So this is going to get Expedition Map, which is going to get the last Tron Land. Yeah, I really need a Spreading Seas, so that's why we had to Graveyard this thing. But I don't, I don't think that it's going to matter here. Like, the absolute best thing that could happen is, like, I draw Spreading Seas, and then it draws me into a land, and then I play the Master of the Pearl Trident and attack. That's Christmas lands. So that's the best possible way this turn could go. We don't have tricksters to get through these otherwise. I'm surprised that they chose to make the construct here. It doesn't seem like the best use of their mana. Hithing Needle? Oh, I guess they're going to just choose Hexcatcher right, to try to make their One Ring uncounterable. You have to, right? There's no way that you can't choose Hexcatcher for this. Like, choosing anything else would just be silly. Like, you should not be worried about something like Vile or Mutavolt. Now, to be fair, I think a lot of people, like, don't realize that they, they can name this card, so... Like, when it's just sitting here on screen, it doesn't actually look like it has an ability. Like, I don't know, it, 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 it's very, very hard to tell. So, it may not be an obvious choice. If they're thinking about it this long, it means they're really thinking about not naming it. And that's incorrect. They did name Hexcatcher. Okay, good job, opponent. You you did the thing. All right, we well we have a line. We have a we just we need spreading seas into land here. That's that's the way that this works. That's not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I hate to say that's uh that's that's pretty bad. Um. I can trade off one of these creatures with one of these constructs, but it's not going to help me because they're just going to get Tron right now. They're going to have five mana up. Oh, fuck. That's, and they can just... Yeah, crack that, get the mine, play the one ring or something, or play like Karn. Either way, it's devastating. I have, I have no out to that. I need their hand to be like... <laughs> I, I have no idea what they could even like have. That would be terrible. Like... Even them just playing regular, like, forests or something would still be really bad. They can kill one of my creatures. I, ha I, I don't have a better way to do this, though. I mean, it, it, this is modern, so if you resolve the one ring with 20 life, you have won the game. <laughs> That's all there is to it. And it looks like this might be the route we're going here.
Like, theoretically, I could counter it, but I have nothing to deal with this then. Though, I, I mean, I probably have to. But if there's any hope of, like, keeping this game alive, like, I kind of need to. Alright, come on, opponent. This is not that hard. Just cast your fucking one ring. Karn the Great Creator. Um. See, this is probably going to get the one ring, which is actually just as bad. Oh, no, I can't do anything about it. I have Hexcatcher out. Yeah, because he pithy needled it. So, yeah, no, actually, it's, it's all free. <laughs> I can't do any I can't do shit about it. So I guess I need like force here. <laughs> I guess if I draw force and like I gonna kill Karn. They chose Haywire might Why would you choose this? What does this do? <laughs> Fuck Are you like Alright, I guess Sure. Are you okay? There is no need for this. <laughs> I have to kill Karn, right? Like, or at least get it to one so it can't wish next turn. No, this is not hard. You block the C note scout and Karn gets to live. But he just doesn't get to find a one ring next turn. Are they just gonna they're just letting it die? That's that's gotta be bad. This probably means they have like Ugin or Ulamog. Oh yeah, that's the fastest nine man I've ever seen tapped in my life. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright, you got it. Alright, well, I mean, that was a little bit better that time, but, like, it's, I don't know, it didn't quite work out exactly how we wanted it to, but I will say that it did make for a bunch of entertaining games of Magic, so I don't think that it was uh, a lost cause. Like, I feel like we had some fun with this, but if I'm playing, like, for real, I'm still gonna, I'm, I'd be playing the list that I played last week, which is just, like, a regular Simic Merfolk list. I think that actually would be pretty good, and, like, that deck can grind and it also has tools to fight against a lot of stuff. We're playing like Dismembers and Force and Spaloon. That that's all better, right? Like we we don't really need this stuff in this and it's and I mean, yeah, we get to play like actual mana base that doesn't come into play tap, so yeah, you know, and like our sideboard would already be fine against it anyway, so uh you know what, hold on, let me I'm going to bring up the, the list that we had from before, so so you can see. That, yeah, this this is what I... Yeah, we had Stern Scolding in last time. So, like, honestly, if we want to, like, play Merfolk for real, like, this is how we would do it. And I this list has been very successful, I think. We've had, like, some back-to-back 4-1s -back with it. It was very good. And the only match I think we lost both times was to the food deck. So I don't expect to beat Asmo anytime in the near future. But otherwise, like, yeah, this is very strong. Very aggressive. Like, you know, lots of interaction, lots of power to the list. So very, very good. Uh, this one is just kind of meme -y and funny. And, uh, you know, we are doing this on April Fool's Day. So, you know... It's the tradition. We have to do something fun and silly every year for this. So this is what we were choosing to do. I don't know. May I feel like it's not impossible that something like this could work. Maybe this isn't exactly how we should do this. But, like, there's got to be, like, some archetype in modern other than, like, the domain deck where you can just, like, add these 12 cards and, like, a couple triomes and somehow it just makes the deck better. I feel like that has to be the case. Like, it, it's, it's too silly not to. Especially because, like, this is still fine with, like, all the elementals and stuff. If you're playing, like, Solitudes or fucking Griefs even. Or, you know, whatever. This this has got to be fine. So, and, like, like this, like this a 2-mana 4-4 four, four flyer on turn 2 is not, like, a bad card. So, it, it's still fine. 
I don't know. Like, there, there's, there's got to be something, right? Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, okay. Uh, it is that time again. We, we played a double league today, which is more than I normally play. But you know, I wanted to get my miles out of worth, worth out of this. So, uh, oh, you know what? I, this might be the third week in a row we're going to see him. But uh, he's, uh, meet is playing Yogmoth again. So we're gonna go and visit him. So you, I will send you off to see some, like, actual real modern being played and not just, like, silly meme decks. Probably not silly meme decks. I don't know. It looks like it's, he's playing a serious deck, so. If you're watching my replay, please click the thumbs up. That would actually mean quite a lot to me. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got for today, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, I may not be streaming next week because I should be on a vacation. There might be one night, though, when I have some time and I might do a stream that day. I'm not sure. So it is a definite maybe, but if not, I'll be back the following week. So uh, that's all I've got. I'll see you later and have fun watching uh, Modern Yogmoth. So later, everybody.